Hey everyone and welcome to this brand new season 4 guide. In this guide I'll be teaching you how to play Rise. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started with Champion Select. Here you see an overview of my rune page, mastery page, summoner spells and item builds. Feel free to copy these if you want to. Please know that these are not by any means the best settings, but it has proven to work for me. Then let's jump straight into the game with the laning phase. In my opinion, Ryze is really strong at this part because of his lack of skill shots. This allows him to hit every skill as harass, no matter if there's anything blocking him. If you practice it, you will be able to farm and harass at the same time. On level 1, your Q hits really hard onto your enemies. I tend to start with my Q just because of the early damage you can put out while assing your minions with auto attacks. Every time your enemy is getting close, hit him with a Q and return to last hitting. When you get your next skills, your W and your E do the same. Combo it like this, Q, W, E and Q. After that last Q, back off to farm until your skills are available again. Because Ryze's skills skill on mana, you will have to stack your tier of the goddess as fast as you can. Keep spamming your skills on minions and enemies to gain more mana and to gain more strength. There's not a lot of killing potential on Ryze in a 1v1 lane, unless your opponent doesn't know what he's doing. The only way to kill someone is to get them by surprise. Try to passively farm and harass a bit and then all of a sudden go all in for him. They will not be familiar with the damage you can put out and that might be your chance to get a kill. If you don't get a kill, it's fine. Ryze skills very well into the late game because of his damage based on mana. The later you get, the more mana Ryze will get and thus the more strong he will become. At least make sure you don't die too often. I say that because dying is a relatively common thing on Ryze. A gank from a CC oriented jungler can lock you down easily because of Ryze's lack of mobility. Ryze is no real escape, you can only snare someone with your W. I usually try to fight them with my ultimate on to maybe get a kill or to do a good damage on them. Running away is almost impossible unless you have your flash up. This is why teleport is so good. If you just got ganked but you dealt a lot of damage before you died, your opponent has to go back. Because you have teleport, you will be back faster on lane and get an XP advantage over your opponent. You will most likely still be able to fight him because of that. You should also use your teleport to help your team out. Ryze is a really dominating champion in team fights because of his tankiness and his power. Go for a gank on the bottom lane that results in a kill plus dragon. Try to be there for your team, because on lane it's likely that you're not going to get any kills or turrets. Try to group as much as you can. In team fights, Ryze works as a protecting tank. It's hard as Ryze to really get to the backlines of your enemies, but Ryze is also really good against tanks when built correctly. You can use this to peel for your AD carries and your mid laner. Here's a Ryze combo that deals the most amount of damage possible. The reset of the cooldowns of the spells allows you to use certain skills multiple times, dealing tons of damage. It is most important to stay between your AD carry and the enemy team in fights. Ryze combined with an AD carry will be a deadly combo during team fights, and since you can protect each other, it works out most of the times. Once you have a Tear of the Goddess, a Rod of Ages and a Void Staff, you're ready to deal tons of damage in team fights. You should really force fights everywhere once you got these items. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Practice using his combos and learn about his ranges to get the most out of Ryze. Once you've got that under control, you will figure out how strong he actually is. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content and let me know which champion you want to learn next in the comment section below. Good luck with Ryze and I hope to see you guys next time.